Hi everybody, welcome to The Messy Cook by Dale and thanks so much for hanging out with me today in our continuing series of food truck street food recipes. Today we're going to Miami and we are making a Cubano, which is a Cuban sandwich. Now, um, Miami and Tampa both have the sandwiches and they sort of fight over who started it, but reality is it's believed to have come over, the idea of this, come over with migrant workers from Cuba and they created a sandwich that they were able to do very easily, very nutritiously, and be able to take with them uh, when they uh, go and work in the fields or whatever. So that's what we're doing today. Um, it starts with Cuban bread. Now, I couldn't find Cuban bread. Very, I wouldn't even know where to start to look for it. I looked in a few uh, bakeries, but they didn't have it. So I bought French bread, which is just as good. And what I did was I toasted one side, I browned one side the inside of the bread. I cut the bread horizontally. Would that be vertically or horizontal? Vertically. Yeah, vertically. Whatever. Whatever. Cut it uh. lengthwise. <laughs> and um, then I toasted it. And the reason you toast it is because you don't want the bread to get soggy. And this will help to prevent some sogginess. Okay, so what we have here is some pulled pork. Now, pulled pork is delicious. And I'll tell you, um, I have a recipe underneath for slow cooker pulled pork, which is what this is. And it is fantastic. It's easy peasy. And um, you can use it for all kinds of different uh, sandwiches or whatever. So that's what we have here, some pulled pork. We have some dill pickles. We have Swiss cheese and black forest ham. We have that for lunch. Lunch, supper, whatever you want. Yes, we are, honey. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all is we ha I have a panini press here. Now you can do this on the stove in a uh, cast iron uh, skillet with another cast iron skillet on top to make sure that it gets, uh, you want it to be smished, Press. pressed. Or you can do it in a pan and you can get a brick and you wrap it in aluminum foil and you use that. Anything to swish it down, squish it down. All right, so what we're going to do on one side of the bread, we're going to do a garlic butter. This is two tablespoons of softened butter with one small garlic clove. And we're going to put that, I'll use my offset spatula, put that on one side. I mean, that alone is enough to love this sandwich. Okay, there we go. This is obviously enough for two people or even more maybe. Okay, next is regular everyday yellow mustard. And that will go on the other half. All right, let me just switch that about. Okay, now we start building. First thing we do is the Swiss cheese. We're gonna put, when that will go on the mustard side of the bread. Two slices of Swiss cheese. Some pulled pork. The pulled pork was left over, but I heated it up a little bit, just so it's uh, at the very least at room temperature. Look at this. Slather it on there. So good. My son and his wife went to Miami and the Keys for their honeymoon, and they said the food was just fabulous. Look at that. Look at that. Yummy. Okay, next we have more Swiss. I mean, <laughs> okay, after that, let me just make sure I have this right. Pickles, we're gonna put some pickles on here. Slice pickles. This is all optional, of course, but this is the traditional uh, recipe. So good. All right, and Ham, a few slices of ham. I mean, this is such a hearty dinner or lunch, I guess. We'll put four slices. And we top that off with more cheese. Look at that. <laughs> Fabulous. All right, so that's not even right there, but let me do this. Just make sure it, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in my panini maker and I'm gonna grill this 
for about six minutes or so until it's nice and toasty and the, the um, cheese is melted. So I'm going to come back with, with that when it's all done and I'll do a reveal. All right, so we'll see you in a few secs. Hi everybody, welcome back. Here it is, du Cubano. It was on the grill for a good 10 minutes. Depends on how powerful your grill is. Mine's not so much, so. Okay, at this point now, it's nice and hard and crispy on the outside. We're gonna cut it into bite-sized pieces, not bite-sized, but uh, portions. at that oh it's hot look at that fabulous oh my goodness Dan you're gonna have a feast yes I will I'm looking forward to it Ugh, hard to cut and another one oh it's lovely look at that oh great so there you have it the Cubano Originally from Cuba, Cuba. but uh, Miami has claimed it and so is Tampa. So this is the very popular street food. I hope you enjoy this. Not so, not so hard to make. Pretty easy, but delicious. It's worth the effort. Thanks so much for joining me today. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. It really, really helps me. Uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. It's cheap. In fact, it costs nothing <laughs> to subscribe and it really helps our channel. Really appreciate it. And for those who have subscribed, thank you. Really appreciate your support. Uh, all I have left to say is, uh, oh, if you have any ideas, yes, for recipes, please put them in the comments below. Um, forget the mess. See you next time. <laughs>